Christians in particular. So we have Stand Together, a project aimed at helping persecuted Christians, was presented this week at the Catholic Information Center in Washington, D.C., as well as under Caesar's Sword Conference at Notre Dame University. In the U.S. Capitol, just a few meters from the White House, the upcoming launch of a Russian edition of the initiative was announced. It will facilitate the involvement of Orthodox Christians. With the goal to highlight the positive testimonies that these Christians that are suffering and living in difficult circumstances in the Middle East, Africa, India, Pakistan, as we heard before, um, can tell us, can, uh, can help us. Videos and broadcasts on television and social networks reflect the courage and determination of those who resist persecution, as well as the ability to forgive. The question is not only how can we help them, is the question is how can we learn from them? So they, their courage, their um, faith, their, um, their fight every day, their testi personal testimony in the Middle East or in, in, other, in other countries. During the presentation at the Catholic Information Center, Brian Grimm, who collaborated with Stand Together from the Religious Freedom and Business Foundation, was also in attendance. Stand Together emerged out of four entities interested in spreading the voices of persecuted Christians. They were the Communion and Liberation, Foundation for Social Promotion of Culture, ISCOM, and the Friends of Rome Reports Foundation. In recent months, the Sovereign Order of Malta, Religious Freedom and Business Foundation, Rimini Meeting, and the Credit Valtellinese Foundation have also joined.